Hello and welcome back to the 36th episode of my still unnamed survival series. Today we have a few projects to finish and a few projects to start, and I think we're gonna start off at our brand new docks. We finished off the last episode by adding this wall behind me, but we still have a lot to do with this dock. For starters, actually adding the dock, terraforming around this little section, and extending the top back. The first step on today's agenda is stairs. We need a staircase leading to the dock and to the top of this wall. That's kind of important for what I have planned in the future, especially for this area. I'm not exactly sure where I should put the stairs in terms of this design, but I have the center marked out and I'm probably just gonna shove it there. Yeah, this is definitely a good spot for the staircase, but instead of bringing it out, I think I'm going to remove this wall and take the staircase in. That way we still have as much space out in this middle section as possible. Yeah, I like this spot. So I think I'm going to make a kind of curved staircase. I want the staircase to be a little decorative, a little unique, and still easy to walk on. That's the most important part. I think this is how I'm gonna build the shape of the staircase. I have a small top section of a circle and I'm just gonna build up the staircase in the same pattern from each block. And that's gonna give it kind of a rounded look. And I think that is gonna be kind of interesting to look at and it's still gonna function as a staircase. And this is how it turned out. I actually really like this staircase and I like how it fits with the feel of this general area. I don't really like how far it sticks out this way, but there's not really much I can do with that because it hits the top of the wall, which is fine. It'll still work for this area and the terraforming I have planned. I am going to throw a little bit more detail into this staircase by randomizing this pattern. That way it fits with the floor a little bit better than it does right now. Now that we have the staircase at the top finished, we're gonna start work on the staircase at the bottom. This one is gonna lead directly to the dock, and I think we're gonna put it in kind of the same shape as the one at the top, just so all of our staircases are the same and match. I, uh, I actually have no idea how I'm gonna tie this into a dock. Uh, I did not think this part through at all, so I'm just gonna start throwing down random blocks and hope it looks good. I know this is going to be a little bit smaller than the top one just because it doesn't have to go as far, but I am going to keep the basic shape though. This is kind of how I think it's going though. I would like to put the dock at this bottom level where the sea lantern is, and hopefully this works out as well as I think it will in my head, but I guess we'll see. I think design wise this might work out a little bit better if I actually start working on the dock before I finish the staircase and I make sure the dock is exactly where I want it to be and then I can build a staircase leading to it. I don't know if that makes sense but that's the route that I am gonna go with. I don't know what the logs did but they definitely help with the creative process. I know exactly how wide I want this to be and what I want the dock to look like. The only thing I don't know is how long I want the dock to be. So I'm only gonna build the first section of this dock and then wait till it's all finished so I can build it in proportion. This area is really starting to come together and I am loving it. I think now, since the staircases are looking bland and boring, we're gonna randomize those textures and get everything to its semi-finalized state. I do wanna throw a lot more detail at this though. Yeah, I like this. This texture looks really good. I love how it matches the floor too, but I think that I'm gonna add a little bit of a decorative bit right here. I think that I'm gonna put a little archway that matches the curvature of these stairs. I think that's gonna make this area look a little bit more finished, a little bit more unique, and a little bit more decorative. Honestly, I'm not entirely sure how I feel about that. I do like archways and I like how this sits here, but I think it's gonna look a little bit awkward once it's all said and done with the land, but I think we're ready to move on. So now that we have this part of the dock completely finished, I think we're gonna move on to the actual dock and build that out to full length. So I have this dock marked out to where I think I'll like it, but we did run into a little bit of a snag. It does reach that sand island out there, so we're probably gonna have to get rid of that, but I don't really wanna think about that right now. I just wanna finish this little dock area, get it nice and neat looking, and then I'll think about terraforming the water area, but I don't think we're gonna get to that today. 
So I had an idea about what I wanted this floor to look like and the thought process behind it is this is supposed to be a fairly well maintained dock. So all the logs and all the wood planks are gonna be fairly new and replaced very frequently. So unlike our bridges, they're not gonna have any holes in them. So we're only gonna be using slabs and trap doors of different wood types, no campfires. I'm pretty sure if you guys have been watching this series for a little bit, you know I love my fence gates archways. This is honestly probably a staple in my building style, so I'm gonna throw these up as the handrail for this dock. I decided that I wanted to throw the handrail up here as well. I do quite like the way this looks, but it does look a little awkward with the slabs and the floating wall. So I might have to do something a little different with this in the future, but for now, I am going to call this done. So now I think we're going to go ahead and start extending that top platform. So the idea for this area up here is to kind of make it match the bottom side in size only, not shape. For here, we're going to go with the semicircle shape and extend it backwards, and then we're going to connect it with the existing land as we bring the dirt up to it. On this side, however, it's going to be kind of different because this is going to lead into a slight cliff face. Once we start terraforming, I would like it to kind of blend seamlessly with dirt and the stone bricks mixing together kind of in a randomized texture, kind of like people are dragging dirt onto the stone floor, and I think that's going to look pretty interesting. I actually really like how this is looking. I love the shape, I'm loving the texture. I do think that I'm going to put a second railing up here just to match the first layer, but for now, I think that we're going to take a break from the dock and the terraforming and do something completely different. We have done a lot already today, but there's still a lot that I would like to do. I would like to make this a little bit more detailed than it is, but I don't think we're going to get to that today. I think what's next on the agenda is getting rid of this building. It's been here pretty much since the beginning of this world, and it's served its purpose. I have never actually really liked that building at all. But after we remove that building, we can move on to the terraforming, which is going to be the most important part of making this area look beautiful. Fantastic. Now that this building has been demolished, our villagers need moved. So I'm just going to push them over here where our old wheat farm once was. They're going to stay here for a little while or at least until I figure out a new place to put these guys. Honestly, we might just leave them there forever. We don't really need them anymore. I have moved my villagers, they are now completely out of the way, so I'm going to start terraforming up this little section and forget that there was ever a building here. This will be nothing more than a nightmarish memory and a ghost of my past. I, I, uh, I really didn't like this building at all. Well, my villagers are out in the open and it's kind of okay if they die. We've got our villager breeder across the lake and we really don't need them anymore, but I would like to keep them alive in all honesty. But now that this hole is covered up, we can start on the terraforming of the area around our dock. So the idea that I'm trying to portray with this section of the dock is like it was carved out of stone, like carved out of the side of a mountain. I want it to seem like this was chiseled out of the mountain and not just placed here. So to try and achieve that, I'm gonna try and make this look more cliffy, more rigid, like it was chopped up and cut out instead of a clean cliff face. I'm not sure if that'll work, but that's what I'm gonna try and go for. This is kind of the shape and feel I'm going for. I am gonna add some different color palettes in there like granite and diorite, but I'm not exactly sure when I'm gonna do that. Right now, I'm only focusing on the shape and trying to capture the idea of this cliff face. I also might make this a little bit longer and wrap around the side. I've got this top side just about how I would like it, so I'm gonna move down towards the bottom and follow the contour of this lake. I might cut into this beach just a little bit and accentuate this cliff face. 
I really don't like the sand over here. I'm not a fan of the beachy vibes. I want this whole area to feel higher than the water, like it's raised up and on a cliff. So eventually, I might completely remove the beaches from this area just to really grab that cliff feel. Yeah, I actually really like how this is turning out. I love that contoured shape and that overhang. I might bring this out just a little bit more and kind of wrap it around the beach a little bit more, trying to accentuate that cliff face. That's something we can do a little bit later when we add in the dirt, but for now, let's move on. This side is actually a little different than all the other ones. This is pretty even with the land, so I'm gonna use dirt instead of stone. The idea that I think I'm gonna go with is the eroded side, like this has been worn down, used the most, and just over time the dirt from the top has slid down and is covering what was once a cliff face. And I think I'm gonna achieve this by throwing a little bit more dirt on the existing land. This is gonna shallow out those curves, those edges, and hopefully make it look a little bit cleaner. We are really trucking along here. All sides of this dock have been cliffified. So now it's time to move on to the back side of the dock and meet up the existing terrain to the top of it. I think I would like the land behind the dock to be kind of a shallow hill, more of a gentle slope, slowly meeting up to the top of the dock. I think I'm gonna have to move these chests. I really don't want to, but I think I'm gonna have to. There's a lot of logs in here. We need the space for terraforming, I'm gonna have to. But this is the spot that we're gonna eventually terraform. All of this is gonna be a fairly small sized hill leading down to where the house once was. This backside's gonna be a little bit tricky too because it has to reach the top of that. Oh, I've gotta move these two. Dang it. Either way, it's gonna slope into the existing terrain and hopefully match up with the paths and the bricks pretty well. I think I'm also gonna try and extend our existing paths into this area sometime today. Make it meet up with this side of the sign and wrap around and then maybe lead up to the top of the dock. I kind of like that idea. But before I get started on any of that, I really need to move these chests. They are definitely right where I need to build. So I think I'm going to move these chests somewhere completely out of the way. I don't imagine extending very far past this anytime soon, so I think right here is probably good. I don't imagine I'll be building down here for a long time. So I'm gonna place a few chests down and start moving all of these logs. Now that our log reserves have been entirely moved completely out of the way, I think it's time that we make this area look as beautiful as we can. This is how far down I moved the logs. This is probably gonna be our new tree growing area as well, just to keep everything out of the way. I think that I'm actually gonna start terraforming over by where I keep my chests on the left side of the dock. I would really like to get rid of the sand as soon as possible, and I think starting here is also really gonna help us when we get to terraform around the side. That's gonna be a pretty tricky area, and having as many guides to go off of to make it look good is gonna be better. So I'm gonna start here, build up to there, and then work backwards to meet up to what we finished on this side. I also really want this beach to go away as soon as possible, so it's a win-win. This area is actually a little bit more complicated than I thought it was. The dock is a little bit higher than the ground and the chests are a little bit higher than the ground, but I also want it to be kind of shallow by the sign. So I'm having to move in three directions at once while keeping it seamless and still looking really good. I've started to build up around the sign. I think I've got this area about how I want it and how I like it, but it's gonna be a little weird because I have to build up behind the dock as well. It's gonna be kind of a steep slope until about here, which is where I'm gonna start to flatten out the hill and turn it into more of a shallow shape, a gentle slope leading up to the back of the dock. I think it's gonna be a little uneven here, but the main goal is to keep it so you can walk up it. This side is definitely gonna be a little tricky because I wanna leave room for a path on my right side by the sign, but this is also gonna go into a fairly steep slope on the back side of this cliff. I don't actually know how I'm gonna do this, so I'm gonna completely play this by ear. I really don't plan any terraforming at all. I'll just throw around dirt and stone until it looks good and then work with what I have. I really like building that way because I think it brings some curiosity and randomness to what I create. Nothing is ever going to be perfect, so it's perfect imperfection. I think I'm finally starting to carve this into a shape that I can be satisfied with. It's a little tricky to get this exactly how I want it, 
Especially with all the little curves and contours that this area has, it's hard to get things to look seamless. I've got that little corner area to a point where I can be happy with it. I might mess with it a little bit later on and just change some small little details, but for now, I've started to terraform behind the dock and around this curve. I do think that I'm gonna curve this back around a little bit more and make this a little bit shallower and a little bit more flat overall. I think that I am gonna stretch this out and down and kind of wrap it around the village a little bit. Now that all of the terraforming is done, I'm going to start marking out my paths. I've already done a few on the right side, but in this general area, I'm going to start filling out more paths and connecting them up with the ones on the right side. But this is something that I like to do when I'm marking out paths. I'll use my bow and arrow and just shoot in the general direction that I want the path and then connect up the arrows with the path. I think that this makes the finished result a little bit more curvy, a little bit more flowy, and less straight than if you were just on the ground marking the path out by hand. But you guys have seen this before, so I'm just going to throw it together in a little montage. have been jumping around a lot today, doing a lot today, and honestly, it doesn't seem like we did a lot today. So I think that it would be a good idea if we walk around for a little bit and look at everything that's changed and everything that we've accomplished today. So this is the actual dock. Everything here was made today. I love these little archways here. And we have our cliff face in the back that was also made today. I honestly really love how that little cliff area turned out. It's got that neat little overhang. It's a little bit different than this side, which is not a cliff face at all and more like a small hill. I'm not actually sure what the end result of this side is gonna look like. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it. And up here is the stone portion of the dock. It's pretty simple, but over on this side, we have this cliff face. I actually really adore how this turned out. I love the way that looks. Honestly, I just love the way this entire dock feels and looks, but this staircase in the center of it goes all the way up to the area that we terraformed today. I do have some plans for this general area right here, some buildings and some ideas that I'm going to toy around with. I don't really want to remove any of this podzil or ground just yet because it might not be what this finished area looks like. But now we're gonna move on to these paths here. We built this entire path today, going from here all the way up along this coastline and leading up to the area where we have our bridges. I might do some stuff with the redstone trash cans and the bench beds later on, but we're not gonna to touch that in today's episode. And of course, we're on an old path now that leads up to the common area that was in front of this house. Which as you can see, we removed that house today. We also made this other little path that leads up to where we started up by the podzil and these two paths, one going up to the dock and the other wrapping around the sign. I'm not gonna lie, making these paths was definitely a little difficult in this area. But one of the cool things about the paths we did today is two of them lead to the docks. We have the one up top and the one that leads to the docks down here. I actually really like this area and I might do something a little bit more down here. All of this area down here was also terraformed, but I don't think that I'm going to do anything with it yet since this area is pretty unfinished. And of course, the paths we made here connect to the existing paths. The old one stopped about right here by the sign, and now it just flows into a few more. Honestly, I am really happy with how this village is turning out, how the paths are coming together. We could throw a little bit more detail into some of these negative spaces where the paths just wind around. Maybe some trees, some small farms, uh, maybe even a well somewhere. I have a lot of ideas for this area, and I know that I'm going to do a few of them. Definitely not all of them. All I know is once this village is finished, it's going to be absolutely amazing. And just like that, we are out of time for today's episode. I had a lot of fun making this one, and our village looks completely different. We have a lot of new paths, a few buildings gone, and we're expanding in ways that I didn't think we would. 
I am going to put a few boats on that dock, and we're going to put a little scene there as well. I've got a lot of ideas for the future of this village, and I can't wait to share them with you. But as always, if you enjoyed today's episode, feel free to like, share, subscribe. It will always help out the channel. But anyway, my name is Red Skies, and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye. If you're still watching, thank you. I really appreciate it. And as always, if you have any tips or tricks for using DaVinci Resolve or video editing in general, please leave a comment down below. I would love to hear your opinion.